Arkansas mother and her boyfriend are behind bars right now after a five year old boy's body was discovered in his home. His six year old sister is being treated for several injuries here in Memphis tonight. Now, this all happened in Morrow, Arkansas in Lee County. That's just an hour west of Memphis. Action News 5's Bria Bolden was there today and spoke with neighbors and the children's paternal grandmother. We do need to warn you some things you may see and hear may be disturbing. The grandmother of these two children tell me her granddaughter is recovering from multiple injuries, including multiple broken ribs, burns, and more. She also says her grandson was found in a wooden box in this home behind me. Her grandson would have turned six years old just a couple days ago. A neighborhood and family changed forever after the discovery of five-year-old Blue Roland's body in his mother's boyfriend's home December 16th. You're living right here and it's right under your nose and you you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Glenda Farrell lives just feet away from the home in Morrow, Arkansas. She says the children and their mother moved in as recently as early this summer. Blue's older sister, six-year-old Taylor, was taken from the home before the gruesome discovery that same day. Her paternal grandmother, Karen Rowland, did not want to go on camera, but told us she had been fighting for visitation rights for months. She said, quote, I heard Taylor whimpering. Of course, I didn't know what was going on, and I bust through the door myself because I didn't like the whimpering. Sounded like she was hurting. Karen Rowland's son was previously married to Taylor and Blue's mother, Ashley Rowland. She says she found Taylor with with serious injuries, but no sign of her grandson. She said, quote, she had puncture wounds like scissors had poked through her head. It looked like she had been strangled around the neck, bite marks on her legs, several fractured ribs, we found out, and an old injury to her leg. And it looked like it had been fractured before that didn't grow back correctly. Roland also says her granddaughter also told her her mother's boyfriend, Nathan Bridges, threw boiling water on her. Roland says she rushed the girl to the hospital with several injuries, including second and third degree burns on her arms, chest, and feet. I thought it was horrific. I mean, who does that? You, uh, I have no words. Uh, it's just devastating. Roland says doctors also discovered Taylor was malnourished and weighed just 36 pounds. More family members went to the home in Morrow that day and confronted the mother and her boyfriend, who Roland says eventually confessed. The two reportedly called Blue's death an accident. Authorities found little Blue's body later that night. Little Taylor is still recovering from her injuries at Labonner Children's Hospital in Memphis. Arkansas State Police are leading this investigation. Reporting in Lee County, Bria Bolden, Action News 5.